Mother, you've got to hear me out. I have heard everything I want to hear from you, Macy. There is no excuse for what you did. Mom, I did not steal Anthony from you. Of course you did. Don't try to justify it. Mom, what you had with Anthony wasn't what you thought it was. It never was. You mean he never loved me? Is that what you're saying? He loved you, Mom. He loved you, yes. You gave him a, a home. You gave him a career. You gave him a sense of family, but it just wasn't... It wasn't what? It wasn't romantic love? No, Mom, it wasn't. Wasn't it? Well, that's where you're wrong, Maisie, because it was. What Anthony and I had together was romantic love. Now, if he told you otherwise... He uh... did, Mother. He did tell me otherwise. Are you trying to blame Anthony for the whole thing now? Well, forget it, Maisie. That won't work. He's not responsible. You are. I didn't tell him I was in love with him. I told you. You knew. I confided in you. Oh, Mother, you don't understand. I was in love with Anthony before you even cared about him. Maisie, that is not true. You told me yourself when I was trying to get the two of you together that you were not interested in Anthony. You told me that you wanted nothing to do with him. That's right, yes, that's right, because I was trying to put my marriage back together with Thorne. And then when Thorne divorced me... When Thorne divorced you, Anthony and I were already involved. No, Mother, you were involved. And I didn't know that. You didn't know? Why? What's the matter? Were you blind? Were you so blind you couldn't see how he affected me? You were so blind you couldn't see the light in my eyes when that man walked in the room. You were so blind that you couldn't see how brilliantly we worked together, how much I loved him, how happy I was when he moved into the apartment with me and your little brother. Why were you so blind that you didn't notice that your little brother CJ absolutely adored him, how he kept calling him his new dad? Were you too blind to see any of that? I don't think so. I think you saw. And I told you, I told you everything, so you knew everything. But you didn't care. You didn't care about me, you didn't care about your little brother. All you cared about was yourself, and what you did was so cruel and vicious that I can't even look at you anymore, Maisie. I can't even look at you. I can't work with you anymore. I don't want you here anymore. I want you to leave. I want you out of this office. I want you out of this building because I really don't want to ever see you again. I mean, I can't trust you anymore. I don't know who you are. You're not my daughter. I don't know who you are. I just go, just go. Just clear up your desk and just go. Just get the hell out of here. No, Mother, wait. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. God, Mother, don't do this. <laughs> Oh, you don't understand. You don't understand. Oh, Mom. Oh, Mom.